All right, so I've got the one panel uh, up here on the roof. I've got it plugged in and, and it's uh, it's charging. Uh, don't have it fastened down yet. We're just trying to get a layout, but but it is working, so that's a good deal. I mean, it's easy. Uh, if it had a bigger charge controller, you should be able to hook uh, two or three more up here to that same wires. But there's room up here if he wanted to to be able to put uh, nine more of them panels and still be able to walk around to, to clean them if he needed to. So let me go get my die core and some screws and uh, we'll get this fastened down and move on to the next project. Okay, we've got the panel all screwed down, got all the screws covered with the die core so we don't have to worry about any leaking. Got the wires fastened down. And uh, this part of the build is, is done. Now we'll work on his uh, the suitcase portion of it. All right, just finishing up here. Got all the wiring and everything buttoned up. Uh, just wanted to show you what it all looked like here under the stove. That's the fuse for the inverter. That is a uh, Bluetooth link for the... Uh, the charge controller that way you don't have to get down here and look underneath here to see what what the uh, charge controller is doing and i've got the uh the inverter mounted here it does have remote access to the outside out here uh this section of extension cord uh it runs up to a plug that we added that way, whenever he's off grid, he actually has electric. He's going to use this little area for a little charging station for his electric bikes and cordless tools and so on. I did want to make one little point here. After we pulled that false panel off, we noticed that there was a a wire just laying down there. You know, it wasn't hooked to anything. Looked like it'd been cut, but we can't find anything that it's supposed to be hooked to. And it was a, a live wire. It's 12 volt, but it was just a hot wire just laying back here. And if we hadn't decided to put this in there, that would have been bouncing around back there for who knows how long. It may never have shorted out, but it could have been shorting out and blowing fuses. And unless you knew that was there, you would drive yourself crazy trying to find out where it's at. And this is a 2019. Yeah, and this is a brand new 2019 model. So just because you buy do, new doesn't mean you're getting quality. So I'm going to tape all that up, zip tie it up out of the way. That way it doesn't get caught on anything. And then come around here. There's his uh, the on and off and display for the inverter. And then we also, and before anybody says anything, yes, it's white. It's not the brown that was in here, but this is all we could get. Uh, this plug here runs off the inverter along with a dual USB. That way he can charge his phone, uh, whatever, off the inverter. This one here still runs off of shore power. So when you're plugged into shore power, you can use this one. When you're off grid, you can you can plug in here and still have electric. And when I get to a big town, I can change that out to brown. Yeah, whenever he gets someplace, or he may may not even care about it. Yeah. But just figured I'd make note of that before someone made a comment on the video that it's not brown. So yes, we know, but that's what we could find at the time. All right, I've got his uh, control board all put together here. This will be going underneath the uh, the cooktop. There's his 20 amp uh, MPPT Rover charge controller. There's his uh, onboard breakers for the battery and the solar. <clears throat> we got a, uh, because it's gonna be down underneath the cabinet, we put in a uh, Bluetooth link. That way he can monitor it from his phone without having to crawl down underneath. That is his, uh, uh, fuse link for his inverter that we're mounting up underneath there as well So I figured better shoot a little video of this before I put it uh, up underneath there where it's hard to see All right, just finishing up here got all the wiring and everything buttoned up uh, 
just wanted to show you what it all looked like here into the stove. That's the fuse for the inverter. That is a uh, Bluetooth link for the uh, the charge controller. That way you don't have to get down here and look underneath here to see what what the uh, charge controller is doing. I've got the uh, the inverter mounted here. It does have remote access to the outside out here. Uh, this section extension cord, uh, it runs up to a plug that we added. That way whenever he's off grid, he actually has electric. He's going to use this little area for a little charging station for his uh, electric bikes and uh, cordless tools and so on. I did want to make one little point here. After we pulled that false panel off, we noticed that there was a uh, a wire just laying down there. You know, it wasn't hooked to anything, looked like it had been cut, but we can't find anything that it's supposed to be hooked to. And it was a, a live wire. It's 12 volt, but it was just a hot wire just laying back here. And if we hadn't decided to put this in there, that would have been bouncing around back here for who knows how long. It may never have shorted out, but it could have been shorting out and blowing fuses. And unless you knew that was there, you would drive yourself crazy trying to find out where it's at. And this is a 2019. Yeah, and this is a brand new 2019 model. So just because you buy do new doesn't mean you're getting quality. So I'm going to tape all that up and zip tie it up out of the way. That way it doesn't get caught on anything. And then come around here. There's his uh, the on and off and display for the inverter and then we also and before anybody says anything yes it's white it's not the brown that was in here but this is all we could get uh, this plug here runs off the inverter along with a dual usb that way he can charge his phone uh, whatever off the inverter this one here still runs off of shore power so when you're plugged into shore power you can use this one when you're off grid you can you can plug in here and still have electric and when i get to a big town i can change that out to brown yeah whenever he gets someplace or he may may not even care about it yeah but just figured i'd make note of that before someone made a comment on the video that it's not brown so yes we know but that's what we could find at the time just wanted to show you where uh the way we got it set up here for his little suitcase setup. So this line right here, that's what's dropping down. It comes down here to this Anderson plug. So whenever he gets ready to pack up and leave, he can unplug this. And this line goes over here and that's a 60 foot cable on that extension cord spool. And then all he's got to do is unplug it here, fold his suitcase, uh, his two panels up, throw this in the side box, and he's ready to go. These are just uh, 200 watt Renergy panels that I've added a hinge in between them. And I'm getting ready to put a uh, like a window latch on the edge of it there so you can fasten them together. So he can take them panels and put them 60 feet away from the motorhome and get it in full sun, and not have to worry about parking. You know, getting the motorhome in a in a spot that needs uh, needs sunlight for the roof. So whenever he's boondocking, if he lucks out and finds one with a tree. He can park underneath of it. All right, here's the the happy owner. Very the, happy. This is his. Uh, it's in suitcase mode. There's the little leg that whenever he uh, folds it out, that leg will end up going right here. And there's a uh, latch pin that goes straight through both of them and holds it in place. There's the Anderson connector. 
and then we come around this side here and that's just a uh, standard window style latch it holds it all together and it's solid and so you know if you're afraid about putting holes in the roof of your van motorhome camper bus whatever you can do do this simple setup right here and uh, then you're good to go uh, so Geo, I thank you for your uh, your business once again. You've done good work just like always, Red. I really appreciate it. And uh, we wish him well on his travels. If you see him out anywhere, look for the Lost Soul Travels placard on the back. Stop in and say hi. Say, tell him where you've seen him at. And uh, like always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share. If you need anything done on your camper, bus, motorhome, whatever, uh, feel free to email me at redscustomdesign at outlook.com. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you.